Welcome to the program Star Talks and today my star is Jedi. Jedi, welcome. Thank you so much, Ram. And today we are talking about the tea, you know, the special tea which we can consume with alcohol. Yes, I'm talking right with alcohol tea. How it's work and definitely Wild Lane Tea. It's a name brand. And we are talking with the brand ambassador, Jerry. Thank Welcome you. to the program. Thank you so much, Karun. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. First of all, we want to know about the name of the tea and how it's created. Oh, the Wild Lane Tea was was spawned from the origins of of Europe. Um, my parents were European, and as a young girl. Uh, we would have this beautiful tea. So I remember clearly my, my dad would brew his tea, a black tea, it would be full of cinnamon and, and star anise and lovely herbs and spices. And he'd add his shot of whiskey or rakia or schnapps. And depending on what flavors he would add to his tea, it enhanced the alcoholic taste. So about two years ago, I was sitting in a restaurant and I don't drink coffee and I was getting FOMO. <laughs> so, and everyone was having their avocados and their beautiful coffee, delicious, you know, wonderful desserts. And I thought, oh gosh, I'd love one of my mother's teas. Oh. And so that's where it all started. And I could remember her going to the gardens or going to the vineyards and they collect specific herbs that made the marrying of the tea with the alcohol. So with that, I thought I'm going to go and find some, some alcoholic tea and or some tea blends that could marry to the alcohol because they're delicious. And so I contacted a sommelier, a tea sommelier, and with the tea sommelier, she said, you need to go and get a mixologist. So I thought, okay, let's go and get a mixologist. And so I went to get one of those and I got lovely chat. And together I introduced them and then they spoke about all the different qualities of the alcohol and then she spoke about all the different qualities of the teas and together we married this beautiful blend called Wild Lane Tea. It came about not only from the European descent and bringing the ancient world of teas and the ancient world of, of alcohol together in a beautiful marriage and ritual, but it also brings a community, it brings a sense of love and freedom to share and inspire each other. When you're talking about the name, the it starts with a wild. I know, because the wildness came from the beautiful herbs and the growth of the and the lovely botanicals from Mother Earth. And wild lane, that's where I find the lane, right? The lane is where you find the herbs and the wildness came from the alcohol. So marrying them together was just you know, a, a match made in That's a beautiful idea. And what are the profiles of uh, tea flavor period alcohol? Yeah, so you know, I'll give you an example. So sometimes with your uh, whiskey, mm. you would have the beautiful um, smoky flavors and tones. Yeah, smell. <laughs> and with that, you can have what she does with that smokiness. Then she combined it with a gorgeous tea similar. Um, that is actually hand smoked, it's a black tea. So I looked at the contrasts and I looked at the complements to the alcohol notes because every alcohol has a note. It can be a floral note, it can be a salty note, it can be a, a um, multi note, it can be a smoky note, depending which one it is. And the tea blends actually match in accordance with the notes of the spirits. So with whiskey, um, the smokiness, we have a beautiful tea called Oak and Iron and it's got a touch of lemon, the anise, the cinnamon, just like that. And with that, it brings out all the flavours of the notes of the whiskey, especially when you brew it and let it rest for about three minutes and then the notes expand and pop. And then when you add your lovely shot, it explodes again and the flavours are smooth and it's a delicious beverage. Wow! Let's talk about the diversity of the tea. Ah, the diversity. How it can be enjoyed. Yeah. And I want to know about uh, how it will be because uh, when we are talking about the tea, always come in the mind the hot tea. That's right. And what about the flavors of the hot and cold? It have a both one? Yes, absolutely. So I think it's really important to note that when you do pour the hot water into the tea, 
You have to leave it for about three minutes to brew. Then the flavors pop. Then once you've brewed it in the hot tea, you add your shot of spe specific, you know, specific whiskey or rum or vodka. And with that, you then leave it again for another three minutes. When it cools just a little bit, the flavors pop. You can either do, that's a lovely hot cup of tea, and it's like a little pre-mixer. So then in the alternate, you can brew your tea and then pop it in the fridge, which is lovely. It cools right down, and then you can add again your, your spotted um, favorite spirit. You know, that's one diversity you can have. The other diversities you can have it as a beautiful tea, and it's delicious, hot or cold. I have the lovely brandy tea, and I think you, you have that. Um, and I brew it, and I have it about a third of a cup, and then I put sparkling mineral water in. Okay. And so I have it as a nice tea, and it's delicious. It's hot or cold? It's cold. I can also have a hot cocktail. So we have specific cocktails that match our teas as well. And we have, and also too, you can freeze the tea and make them into beautiful big ice blocks which I've done in our pink teas with our beautiful um, berries and our elderberries and our juniper berries and they match beautifully with vodka and gin and so once I've frozen in a big pink ice box I then pour the gin on top and it's a delicious summer afternoon drink as it's just totally different, so crazy, and uh, I'm I'm telling you guys, it's a it's a different world. When we are talking, always we are talking about the alcohol and different from brands. Now we are talking about the tea, with are different from flavors. Exactly. And uh, when we are talking about the vodka and different different brands, brandy, you can mix it up. So how to feel? So how the all over the idea comes, like you told us from your father is. Yeah, yes. it's all heritage and it's all, it's, it's bringing the ancient world of Europe that once was many years ago yes. back into modern day world that we can enjoy natural foods, bold fruits from the earth and bringing them into our bodies and enjoying them while we can talk and sit around and enjoy each other so we can share and inspire our dreams. That's beautiful. And what about your uh, unique selling points? You know, the unique selling point is that we, while at Wild Main Tea, we are a premium and a luxurious yes. botanical organic brand that has been with bold, uh, bold fruits and spices and tea. I must kind of say this is for the special, special people. Uh, yeah, it is for and the special really, people. really, really who love the luxury. Ex exactly. And it's specifically created so that you can have it on its own or marry it with a beautiful favourite spirit. Wow. And what are the benefits to consider the selling? Oh, there are lots the of benefits. Tea. Not only on a wellness um, benefit, um, but for yourself. But there is a benefit of for hotels or for restaurants or for cafes. Um, you can put it almost everywhere. Okay. So there's a lot of pecuniary B2B business ways that you can sell the tea. Um, our beautiful cocktails um, are sold at bars. Our beautiful teas are sold at high teas, such as high tea and gin, or high tea and vodka, or high tea and whiskey. If, if somebody don't want to be with the whiskey or, uh, or vodka, yes. they, they can? They can. They can have it just as is in these gorgeous bold fruits and flavours and spices of tea. Oh, okay, that's also a beautiful part of this. Hundred percent. That's lovely. Can, can can we talk about a bit about the uh, satisfaction and the quality of this product? You can. The quality of the of the tea is extremely bold. You'll notice our leaves, our fruit, they're full. They're not little um, remnants or graded teas. Mm. They're um, voluptuous. So that when you pour the tea, you'll see the leaves expand and float and soak the water. It's very, the quality is supreme. Wow. And what about the plans of the community and social life? You know, I, my dream is that everybody can drink wild land tea at any time and elevate an experience to a new level where they can sit together, share each other's dreams in authenticity and love and kindness and grow as a consciousness that we can 
be one community wow. and share with each other and inspire one another to follow your dreams. And that is your vision. That's my vision. That's beautiful. I just want to tell everyone this is a totally different experience. When try one time, I feel like that uh, you are not going to be um, uh, miss that opportunity after this, after after trying one time, because it is going to be. I feel like that. I I, I smell it. I didn't get the chance to drink it yet. Yes. But I smell it. I'm really want that thing when is I get the next after the shoot we will going to drink that one and of course Cheers. because you know it elevates you to a new experience yes you know an experience that every cup is full of flavor yeah. every cup is full of your drink yeah and that's what it's about it's the connection yeah first try yourself you know and after then it's a very good idea to when you want to looking for if you want to give gifts to your friends and family yes. and that's a very very good idea to just try this one yes. and the people they say oh, i want to give some uh, different gift which is set up in my budget exactly. and uh, also exactly. in, uh, also something different yes and also too we have um, you know for for resorts or treats we have a beautiful tea box yep. that they can also have in the rooms of the hotel i saw that i saw that your beautiful packing the packaging is divine and which we have the the lovely sachets with the small bottle of, of spirit that goes with the tea so there's a there's hampers and lovely boxes a beautiful presentation for the gift shops so there's a lot of ways that this tea can spread throughout the community and in b2b businesses and how a people, if people want it and where they can go? Yes, so there are a couple of ways that you can come. You can definitely go to the website, yes. so which is um, www.wildlandtea.com.au and or you can contact us on email, hello at wildlandtea.com.au and we have our distribution, um, head of distribution, which is Emmanuel and his details can be found through the marketing at wildlandtea.com. That's beautiful. I'm really, really, very excited about the tea, and it's uh, nice to talk with you today. Thank you, Varun. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I feel like that uh, I am the part of that tea. I'm so excited to get it up. And friends, really, this is a total, total different product. I never heard it before. When we are talking about the tea, we are coffee. We are thinking about the, we are going to the restaurant and have a tea or coffee. Now we are when we are talking about this product and having with the alcohol. Yes. That is a different. Yes. Uh, when you listen this, what what we are talking about? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So what are you exactly. talking about? And this is totally a different uh, world. Yeah, it is a different world. And you know what's beautiful too? We can take it globally. Yeah. So we are selling overseas. We are selling in Australia, and it's from Australia. That's beautiful. And before going, what are the message you want to give to everyone? Ah, oh, the message I want to give to you is: grab a friend, have an experience, sit down, enjoy your wildland tea, take the edge off, share your dreams, come to a level of authenticity, and jubilee, which means cheers. What? Jubilee. Jubilee. Jubilee in cheers and enjoy. You really? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you.